This is the Royal Road chord progression. Chords 4, 5, 3 and 6 of the key. Now although there are some examples of western pop songs using this chord progression as I'll show you in a minute, it's not an abundantly popular chord progression in the west. However, despite this, over in Japan it's a very different story. I'm sure you remember the famous Actors of Awesome video where they show that tons of western pop hits are based on the same chord progression, 1, 5, 6, 4. Well, this chord progression is Japan's version of that. Take any anime, J-pop song or even video game soundtrack and you're bound to find this chord progression in there somewhere. Now, as I mentioned before, although this progression is nowhere near as commonplace in the West as it is in Japan, we can find some Western pop songs that use it. Another western song that is often cited as an example of this chord progression is However, Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up actually uses a subtly different chord progression. In the place of the 4 chord, we actually have a 2 chord with a minor 7 on it. As you can hear, this is a very similar sound. It's actually only one note different. If the bass line was playing a G flat note here, the fourth note of the scale, then we would actually have a four chord here. But with the bass playing the second note of the scale instead, E flat, it turns this G flat major chord into an E flat minor seven chord. But although Never Gonna Give You Up doesn't actually use this exact same chord progression, Rick Astley's other Billboard number one hit song, Together Forever, does actually use it. So what is it about this chord progression that has made it so popular in Japanese music? What makes this chord progression work? In Japan, they refer to this chord progression by this name, which translates directly into English as the Royal Road Progression. And what they mean here is not the road in the sense of a road you would walk down, but more the more abstract idea of a route, of a way. This translates effectively as the easy way, because it's the chord progression that just, without much effort, creates 
creates that sense of melodrama that they want for their anime and, and J-pop music. So what is it about this chord progression, about four, five, three, six, that gives it that melodramatic sound? It sounds dramatic, there's a sense of movement and story, but it's certainly not serious. It doesn't sound um, mournful or there's, there's not really a sense of danger. It's bright, yet moody somehow. One of the key aspects of what makes this chord progression sound the way it does is the fact that it starts on the fourth chord of the key. The fourth chord of the key is referred to as having subdominant function. Now, subdominant function is a fancy way of saying that the chord introduces some tension to the tonality of the music. It, it's not as tense as possible, but it's certainly not a point of resolution. A point of resolution would be there, the one chord. The four chord wants to go somewhere. And in the Royal Road, Road progression, it goes to the fifth chord. Now, the fifth chord has dominant function, which is the most tension we can have in the key. So we're going from some tension to more tension, so now we definitely need to go somewhere. And where we go is the three chord. Now, the three chord is considered to have tonic function, but it doesn't have the same weight of tonic function as the one chord would have, the chord that we call the tonic. The three chord is at rest, but it's not necessarily satisfied. It could still do with going somewhere. And we actually then do go to another tonic function chord, the six chord, which is certainly at rest now, but in a sort of wistful way, not the fully satisfied way that we'd have if we went to the one chord. As you may have noticed, this progression never actually goes to the one chord. So it's like it never resolves. It's just a ongoing story. It gives it momentum, it gives it a sense of drama, emotion. Now, I don't think there's any particular reason why this chord progression, out of all of the potential chord progressions that are, has caught on so much in Japan. You could ask the same question about why the Axis of Awesome progression, the 1564 progression, is so popular in the West. I think it's just trend, it's just habit. Once the idea has been established as a trope, other songwriters can draw from it. It's an easy thing to do, the easy way, the royal road, right? But it's certainly interesting how a chord progression that cert certainly works within the parameters of Western music has become so much more popular in another country. And it's odd that of all of the Western songs that use this chord progression, two of them are by Rick Astley. goes to everybody who supports me on Patreon, including an extra special thanks going to these wonderful people. 